Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. EA dropped an insane W yesterday with SBC content. Upgrade packs are very ultimate for ultimate team of the season with two different player picks, the premium upgrades for all top five leagues, and the pack that we thought was maybe going to come, and it actually did, a TOTS upgrade pack any team of the season player repeatable. We talked about this in yesterday's video. I really did, didn't expect it, but we talked about it because they did it last year. And then EA Sports drops this today. Repeatable five times, and we're going to be able to do it most likely five more times again today. I want to talk about that, how it's impacting the market, and just what's going on in this game as a lot of the hype is right here in the team of the season tab with the upgrade packs we did have an end of an era yesterday and i want to take a look at today on the game as well because we will probably see a lot more hype content uh with just those spcs being re-upped right the tots upgrade being resurfaced re-available again today we don't have any more end of an era leaks uh, but we do have some market movements to talk about because of that content from yesterday as well um, and it's a Tuesday, so the secondary league that's out right now, the Conmi Bowl Team of the Season cards, of course, led by the Julian Alvarez, who is no longer extinct, but has been on a wild price ride uh, yesterday. Uh, we should be getting the guaranteed for these guys today, too. So if you're, uh, you know, maybe saving up a couple more lower tier fodder cards, I think that we'll, we will get a Conmi Bowl Team of the Group stage uh, guaranteed SBC today as well. So we'll talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for Ultimate Tots upgrade packs and if you're enjoying this menu grind, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new. Now let's just start talking about this and we're going to go to the SBC tab on Footbin to take a look at these SBCs and just talk about it for a bit because I'm actually a little surprised when I look at Footbin and I see this 45 thousand coins for a Tots upgrade pack and only 32% upvote. These are so craftable. The, the the reason why these are so good is they cost an 84 rated squad and one team of the season player. So basically, if you start off with an inform or a TOTS card, all you have to do is input that in. You get a TOTS card back. And then if you're doing any upgrade packs or player picks, you're going to have 82 and 83 rated players from doing those player picks. If the TOTS card that you get from this TOTS upgrade you don't like, you just go and put it in back to the SBC, add some 82s and 83s. Because that TOTS player is like 88 to 92 rated most likely, you're plenty of rating in the positive with that by throwing in some 83s and 82s, maybe an 84, and boom, you have the upgrade SBC again. And I absolutely love this kind of content. This was the biggest piece of content for me yesterday that was very, very high because what it does is it really opens the door and it makes us feel like we are starting that summertime FIFA content. It, it gives me you it gives you the first little hint of like the 85 times 10 type of vibes uh, like we had last year at the very end of the year since we were able to do this five times. It's not repeatable, but five times yesterday, five times again today, when this timer of 17 hours re-ups, we're going to be able to do, I believe, if, it's, if it expires in three days, we are going to be able to do 20 of these, right? Because we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, because I think this is like three days and 17 hours technically uh, on the timer. So, we're going to be able to do 20, I believe, unless they change the number of repeatable times. You're going to be able to do this SBC so many times throughout the rest of this week. That's what is awesome, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to those doing five more again today. And again, packing, it, it, make, it gives you that opportunity to pack a blue, right? You can see that the counter has not gone up. I have not packed any TOTS cards from 80 plus e-figs, from 82 plus player picks, or from any of the premium upgrades that we have been doing. But, uh, you know, it feels like you're packing a TOTS card with the way you are. But, you know, it gives you that gamble type SBC feel. And I think it's very craftable. And I'm surprised that it, it doesn't have this much of an upvote because I'm a huge fan of this SBC. I think it's great. Yes, you're not getting really insane stuff from it. I didn't get really good things, um, but it's still fun, right? And it's a gamble SBC that you can craft and rinse into and out of. And that's what I love about it. Now, the other upgrade SBCs that we have, let's talk about the best way to craft. Now, right now, I think people just realize and imagine that, or not even realize, they just think that these Ultimate Tots cards are going to be so hard to pack. Um, and they're not going and doing the upgrade packs because as you take a look, gold rares are only 800 coins. They really haven't gone up that much. 
And that's making these gold upgrade packs decently cheap and making it even better value to be doing upgrades right now if you have coins and if you really want to do so. The, the best way to craft these and the way that I've been doing them is I've been building the premium League One upgrade packs. I'll open one right now just for fun and I can show you guys how I'm doing the craft. I've built 22 of these right now uh, and we're going to continue to go. But um, what we are doing is opening these packs, build, buying the rares, and building up these packs, opening them, sending it all to the club. You just saw I have nine non-rares right here, and I have three rares. So all of those cards, I'm going to send them to the club. And what I'm going to do from that is go and do either an 80-plus E-Figs player pick or... I'm going to go and do an 82 plus. Now, I like the, e the e fix player pick. This is the big discussion. Which player pick is better? I technically think you get better fodder from the 82 plus. But again, the cost of that SBC with being six rares is so much more annoying and harder to get done than it is to just do the 80 plus e figs because this one only requires two rares. So, you know, I'm going to mix and match and see which one I like better throughout the rest of this week. But you do the League One Premium or the Premier League Premium, and we're doing those two because highest amount of team of the seasons and League One has the lowest amount of rares, very high potential to pack really good cards. You do that, get the non-rares and the rares, and then you can rinse into a player pick. This is where you have the best chance of a blue, and you see that we got an 85 Royce. I'm going to take that and go do like the last squad of Di Maria after this video or something like that because that's a W, right? So that's the best craft in my opinion is buy gold rares, build those packs, the premiums. Um, and again, the League One and the Premier League is probably the way to go. Most blues, there's seven blues that are in Premier League. There's five blues from the League One uh, team of the season cards and ultimate tots. And there's just so much fewer rares uh, in League One. And the, uh, the upgrade pack look during League One Tots was so much better. So I like that pack anyway. So doing one of those two and then rinsing your non-rares and rares into the player pick, that's 100% the move. And I would have to say most people are packing blues from the 82 plus or the 80 plus e-figs. Like I'll even scroll you down my Twitter mentions right now. Um, let me find a spot from earlier in the stream. You know what? We can just start from the top because like take a look at this stuff, man. T take a look at my Twitter mentions right now. Ultimate Tots upgrade and player pick grind paying off. Boom. That's an e-fix pack, right? One of four. You get a 97 Salah. Boom. This guy did a set of five and he got a Van Dyke. What do we have here? An Nkunku in the reserves, right? A Modric. You know, I look at and an Nkunku from an 82 plus. You know, a Chow Many from a premium pack. I mean, you guys have been tweeting me all day these insane player picks. Like, just look. Marquinhos, I go through here. Uh, Salah, this guy's showing me just random pack luck. You know, Marquinhos in there again. Kimmich with my with the stream in the background, right? All this stuff. Yetter from a premium. Yetter in a player pick. Neymar. Julian Alvarez from an 82 plus. Modric. Like, it's possible to pack blues from these packs, even though it seems like it's not very easy to do it because these are ultimate tots cards and the pack weight for these, like they're so high rated and it's like, Nate, they're impossible. Don't uh, don't give up on it. Honestly, this is, in my opinion, the best team of the season upgrade pack craft uh, of any of the weeks. I really think that it is because of there's two different player picks. I have no gold commons. Wow. Okay. Never mind. I won't do an 82 plus. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's two different types of player picks that are great. We have all the premiums that are out and we have a decent amount of, of SBCs to rinse duplicates when you get 84s, 85s and that kind of stuff into every single day. You're going to be able to do five of these TOTS upgrades, right? So even if you don't want to do these from scratch and open them all at once, you're going to have a place to put your 82, 83, 84 duplicates into this SBC as you're doing upgrade packs. We have got end of an era cards coming out just about every day. I'm just about finished with Di Maria. Of course, we have had Insigne if you haven't finished him yet. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing Schmelzer and the new Mark Noble from yesterday, which is a really cool card. Big fan of this one. Uh, four star, four star, medium, medium. Really good stats, just a cool card, right? 200,000 coins are getting done, nice to do. But, you know, it's just very craftable and grindable content, and that is what we love about the menus right now. And this is so different than last year, right? We talked about it in yesterday's video as well. So different from last year in the fact that uh, the, the player picks were bad. It was hard to pack those cards. Yes, we had the 88 plus last year, TOTS upgrade, similar to the, the TOTS that we have right now, this upgrade SBC. But all in all, I mean, the, the best way to say it is Ultimate Tots brought out the ultimate content from EA Sports. So I was absolutely loving this yesterday. And I'm going to send a lot of coins this week, as many as I can, time-wise, 
into these player picks and into this grind because the best top guys are in packs and why not, right? It's June, it's time to full send some of those coins. So with that being said, some of the other content that we would expect coming out during this week, we've had an end of an era SBC every single day and it seems like that might stop today because we don't have any leaks, but you know, it almost makes me feel like we should have another one coming today. I just don't know who it's going to be. As of right now, when I'm recording this video, we have no leaks. I know everybody's been like Marcelo, Aguero, uh, you know, taking Kaylini. People have so many ideas of who they want to have an end of an air SBC, but we don't have any hard leaks. Like, you know, when I say a hard leak, like a foot sheriff tweet or multiple leakers tweeting out stuff. I mean, this, th this guy, I bought Marcelo yesterday. It's even on my transfer list right now. I bought Marcelo at 1.12 because it seems like every single day people get the idea that Marcelo is going to have a, an end of an era SBC. There's no official leak. And I'll even go check again uh, on Foot Sheriff's Twitter. Maybe he's up really late tonight. No, there's no leaks for a Marcelo. It's only a prediction. Okay. So, you know, you can trade with someone. I traded with him yesterday. It's done. He's done the same thing like two days in a row now where he's gone really low and then bounced back up uh, just because people think he's getting an end of an era card. And there's actually not a legit leak for that. So I don't know what's coming today content-wise in terms of a player SBC, if we're going to get one or not. But I will say one of the SBCs I do expect is going to be that Conway Bowl team of the group stage guaranteed pack. And that was one of the pack codes that we looked at in yesterday's video that was added earlier last week. Then we also have a couple other packs still, right? We have this TOTS player pack, right? That's the one that we had. There's a 93 plus eFigs TOTS player pack that is in the code. And there is also, if I can go ahead and find this really fast, there is a regular eFigs TOTS players pack in the code. And here's the Conville team of the group stage, right? Tuesdays are usually the day when we get the secondary league SBC. So I would expect this to come out today. Of course, if you're hunting for a card like Julian Alvarez, that's who everybody's going to want today. Um, you know, best of luck trying to get that. Rodriguez looks pretty nice. That should be a pretty cheap SBC. Um, speaking of this Alvarez, yesterday he got his price range update. His, uh, of course, like you normally do with an extinct card, he was at like a 2 million coins, got panic sold down to 1 mil, and then exploded back to 135. And that's probably going to be his peak price for the rest of the week. And now he's back down to 1.3 and probably just going to stay very rare in the market. If you want to try this guy out, I would not hold on to him for very long. I think his price is going to continue to drop during the rest of this next week. Um, the only other pack that I'm curious about still is this one, the eFigs Tots player pack. Um, I just don't know if that's going to be one that's released in an SBC. As you can see here, this TOTS player pack was ID 1263. Contains one team of the season player from any of the TOTS squads. And if we scroll up and look at this other pack code, this one is ID 1266. Contains one team of the season player. And then this one says contains one team of the season player from any of the top five leagues rated 93 or higher. And if we look at the one that was actually released in the game, this one, does it say? Oh, it, it doesn't say. Maybe it'll say on Footbin, like what the actual description of the SBC is. It says earn one team of the season player from any of the TOT squads. So I don't know if we can read into that at all, but I still think they would release one of those eFigs TOTS packs. That might be tomorrow, right? In place of our guaranteed ultimate TOTS. Uh, they would release an eFigs TOTS plaque, whether it's a 93 plus or the no rating guaranteed one. I think that would be another upgrade SBC that they could release. But I really think the one we can count on today is that Conmi Bowl uh, team of the group stage guaranteed. And other than that, I mean, seriously, guys, there's got to be some other sort of token content. That's the other thing from yesterday that we were really uh, surprised by. They didn't drop any tokens. And, you know, I'm sitting here trying to get my 15 tokens for my 84 times 25, and uh, they didn't drop any yesterday. So I was a bit bummed by that one. And I think I have eight tokens right now. This is the token uh, tracker as it looks at the moment. We are at 23 out of 25. We still need two tokens by this Friday uh, when all of this stuff goes away. Tot swaps two ends on this Friday. So I would imagine they're going to drop at least a token today, token tomorrow. Give us a couple days to finish off our last tokens. Um, and then, you know, I, I need all the rest of those two tokens, EA Sports. You better drop them because I got to get them done. Uh, to do the 84 times 25, but those last two tokens were like, yo, EA, come on. Hopefully they release one, if not both of those today here on 
Tuesday. Now let's take a look at the market a little bit because with all this SBC content and what's fodder doing, right? Let's take a look at the market and switch things around uh, to that side. You know, I think the lower tier fodder, I'm surprised that it didn't go up more than this. But today, if we get, which we are expecting again, a Conmebol team of the group stage um, upgrade pack and five more of those SBCs that are available for the TOTS upgrade. I think that 84s yesterday were an incredible buy. They were like 2,000 coins a piece. Still, a lot of these have started to go up. And I think there's only one direction these cards are going to continue to go. And that is up even further. Like I said in yesterday's video, I could really see these guys going to 4K. You, even Kessie was 3,500 coins. And right now, he's back down to 3K. I think your 84s, your 85s, and your 83s, that low tier fodder with economy bowl today and with everybody being able to go out and do five more of those TOTS upgrade packs. That's just going to keep this lower rated fodder continuing to rise. The high tier fodder as people continue and, and go out and finish Icon Moments player picks as they craft it. Maybe they're doing a Di Maria. Um, maybe even like some of those Icon SBCs as people are getting fodder from doing upgrade packs and the menu grind. You know, I think this stuff is even slowly inching up, but you know, it's not really moving that much. Uh, in total, some of these 91 rated cards are even down a smidge too, right? Some of them were 40k yesterday. Uh, now they're about 37, 38. So it's that high rated fodder is kind of staying the same. The lower tier is where I see more of the movement coming in, um, especially with more of those tots packs being able to be open today. Now with the ultimate tots cards, with the upgrade content that we had yesterday, you saw a little bit of sell off, of panic because people are like, oh my goodness, this content's incredible. Let me go out and get some of these, these packs done. Uh, you know, perfect example is this Modric. Modric was 365 yesterday, um, coming up a little bit on Monday. He peaked at 365. With the content dropping, he was actually all the way down under 320K. It says 331. He was in the low 300s. He bounced back to 340, kind of where he is now. Kevin De Bruyne, ooh, he's low again, 317. That's a little bit of an undercut. De Bruyne was 300,000 coins flat after being 340. So we went down to 300, back up to 330, 340. Um, I saw some other selling on Marquinhos. He was down. Kula Bali is down and is still low in price. Taylor Hernandez is the, like the lowest that he's been, 680. Uh, Van Dijk is down. Cancelo was like 330K for a hot minute as well. Basically, there was people that went out yesterday. You can see it. If you look at all of these cards, you're going to see this dip at the content yesterday. So if you guys were buying any TOTS cards, if you really wanted it for your team, that was another entry point where some cards kind of dipped down low again to where they were on like a Saturday, Sunday time frame when those cards all got super duper low on the weekend. Now, I know not all of them dropped off. Your higher tier cards like Jude Bellingham, who was one point, he was 1.2 mil yesterday. Actually, before the content drop 1.2 flat right now he's still about 1.27 you know like a guy like ben yetter those aren't the guys that aren't that, that are they're not panic sold as much you know the cards that are, you're going to see get panic sold are going to be those middle to lower tier items because that would be what people would go and sell to go and do a set of upgrade packs uh, and to gamble some coins on some sort of upgrade sbc so you know if we have a really big sbc released again today you know, I don't know if they're going to release that eFigs TOTS upgrade pack just quite yet. I feel like that might be later on in the week. But even with just the, the TOTS packs being five more of them repeatable today and such an insane menu grind, that might hurt the rise a little bit on some of those TOTS cards. But your elite tier players like Benzema, um, let's see who else would be in, in that category. Drew Bellingham, Ben Yedder, those types of guys. Those are the, going to be the ones that start to creep up in price first because they're just more rare so again I, I think i mentioned it on yesterday's stream and, and um you know on twitter yesterday too i just love that this tox the tots pack it just it just feels like the beginning of summertime content and that's what i'm most excited about right now in this game i know this part of the the game doesn't excite some of you guys and you guys like the gameplay uh or whatever there's still the ultimate tots cup that is out right now which a lot of people are happy with we i doubt we would get another objective player today on tuesday We've got Kova, Fabregas, Mata all going on right now. Um, and then I doubt we would see a whole new one in there. But if you're still grinding Ultimate Cup, you know, it's it's still a W. You still have some nice packs in here. You get a Tots player pack for 12 wins. So keep grinding on that. And uh, yeah, again, once we get later on this week, I'm going to be really curious to see. And we're at the point of the week as well as we're thinking about what's going to happen towards the end of this week. What's going to happen with Foot Champs rewards? What's going to happen with 
what's next? That's going to be a question that's going to be looming over us in the next couple of days. I'm starting to think about it. Are they going to drop a summer heat? Are they going to drop another promo? But until we have any leaks, if we don't have any leaks by like Thursday, then that would tell me that they're probably not going to do any sort of promo like that, but it's still early in the week. So we're going to have fun crafting and then we'll of course follow the leaks. And, and if there's anything that comes up or any, you know, code that EA adds that make us, makes us think there's going to be some sort of promo next, we'll cover that as it goes. But really the hype right now is the menus, just the, the chance to pack tots cards. You know, I would just love to have an, another opportunity at packing a couple more blues um, you, you guys saw the Twitter mentions that we looked at, right? People are packing blues. So don't feel like, Nate, I, you know, I can't do upgrades because I'm not going to pack anything. You never know. At least give it a shot. Don't, don't full send all your coins unless you're going to be absolutely done with the game. But try some out. Have some fun. Uh, and they're, they're really fun to do. And the golds aren't that expensive yet. So as long as they stay decently cheap, it'll make doing these SPCs even cheaper. It'll cost you less coins. So big fan of that. Now I have to finish up my champs games. I'm eight and three at the moment. Somehow I usually finish um, on the 11 win threshold rank five, but if somehow we can keep on this winning streak, uh, then we will try to go to 14, I guess. But uh, my motivation right now is, is with the packs and that's where I'm having the most fun. So it should be another fun day of that on Tuesday. If you want to hang in and do that with us on stream, check the link down below in the description. Uh, twitch.tv slash the foot accountant and uh, we'll continue watching this market watching this game and see what happens after today's content on Tuesday so if you enjoyed the video today have a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been Nate the foot accountant I'll catch you guys later peace